So lately, a lot of my thoughts have been, as you know, next weekend is going to be a year, marks the year for the fire, uh, May 13th. And, uh, you know, a year ago right now, we had no clue. We're just living life going on. Uh, I was in a pretty good, my thoughts are about how, you know, at my age, you're in a pretty good established routine of doing things. There's the, you know, you have room for the surprise now and then or the odd adventure maybe now and then but pretty much 36 years of an established church the bible pro costumes i had the you know all the things that we had and people like to give us things too um and books and and uh, our kitchen was full of some of your stuff because <laughs> you'd bring it to potlucks and forget to take it home so just stuff you know stuff and stuff and and you don't really know you miss it until you want it and it's gone so that still happens you know you go oh so like next week I have my preschool graduation week from week yeah anyway <clears throat> and uh, you know you're in a routine you're in a pattern in your life and um, and a year later I don't know what pattern, you know, I'm in or what's going on. We're just kind of like, well, we're here, you know, and then you get in that pattern. We're here and you forget that, oh, yeah, we're building. And then you panic and go, oh, yeah, we're building. You know, I should be doing something. And so your life is just, you know, but, you know, as John had been talking, if you remember his message about the old man, don't let the old man in. And if you haven't, that's. You know, and that's what we can do at any age of our life. Let the old man in by just, we like our routine, we like our pattern, don't mess with it, don't get in my way, you know, and uh, don't complicate my life. Some of you love to live willy-nilly like John and don't have a schedule, but uh, for the most part, most people are pretty, pretty regulated and stuff, but... <clears throat> You know, it, I've just lost my pattern, lost my mojo. But, you know, that's good. That's good. In um, Isaiah 43:19, I forgot to bring my glass over here, says, Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Hmm, that's kind of hard for us to do. Ah, oh, back in the good old days, or used to be this way, or used to be that way. You know, back in the day, I used to do this or that. My mom always told me, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to play baseball. And I, I didn't even see her with a baseball in her hand ever. You know, so it was kind of like you live on those, oh, I used to do that. And, and it says, behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a road in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. You know, and it seems like sometimes we're in a wilderness of... Who knows what? What's going on? You can feel like you're in a desert of just dryness. Nothing's the same. It's, it's kind of not going the way you want it to be. And uh, But God doesn't want us to live without a path. You know, he has a path. And you think all the scriptures and Proverbs and Psalms that talks about commit your way to me and I'll establish your, your plans, you know, and you know, a year ago, we were committing our ways to you, to him. You know, we were, we were every day trying to commit our ways. But then some days, maybe we weren't. Maybe we were just relying on our own plan, our old plan, our old path. And then all of a sudden, in, you know, a matter of hours, that part of our life was, and yours, was gone. You know, I, oh, I probably shouldn't get off on that. But, you know, <clears throat> the Pharisees were very controlling. They had a path for you. They had a way of things that they wanted it to be, and it, it couldn't get out of that path. It couldn't get out of those routines and that. I mean, they had, I, I was going to look it up, but I didn't, hundreds and hundreds of laws that they had to follow. And God isn't that way. He says, okay, make your plans. Trust that God has those plans, that those plans in you are from God, and I'm going to establish them. And establish them 
doesn't really mean that you see everything that's going to happen beforehand, you know, but he will make your path straight. You're committing that plan. Let him do it. Let him make adjustments. Let him make corrections in your path. You know, it's going to zig and zag probably along the way. But, you know, we don't want that. God is not going to control you. He's going to let you make your decisions. He's going to let you make your own choices, even when he says, hey, this is the way, walk in it. You know, choose life or death. You know, by the way, choose life. You know, he gives us the answer. But he's not going to give us the answer every day. And, uh, I mean, every step of the way, uh, ahead of time. He, he kind of, it's a step at a time. And maybe you're taking a long, long step before you're turned back. And I was thinking of, remember the Etch-a-Sketches? Get really, kids like to get really crazy on there and a little crazy past you go. And that's kind of our journey, you know, has been this crazy little lions and you just like to do all sorts of things. And then your brother or sister comes along and shakes it up and it's gone. It's gone that way, but he's doing a new thing. What is the new thing God's doing in your life, in our life, and for us to be open to that? And, uh, you know, they say when you get older, do puzzles and do things, keep your mind going. Well, this, you know, I can be thankful for this. To not, you know, in the last few, uh, the last few months probably, if you ever, did any of you listen to that song? Did he play that song, Don't Let the Old Man In? By Toby Keith. If you don't, you know. But he, it talks about, he rides up to your window and he's looking in at you. Don't let him in. Well, I've been toying, making faces at him and <laughs> waving to him and thinking, well, hmm, maybe I should. Maybe I should go with the old man. You know, just let it go. Let it all go. It'd be so easy to do, you know, but this is the time to strengthen yourself, to gird up yourself, to even you youngins, you know, be open to the new path and the new way, and um, <clears throat> it's going to be okay, you know, because you're going to start, you're going to commit your way to the Lord, and he's going to establish it, and with saying all that, you know, God is establishing our plans for the building, for our future, for the going ahead in the future. And these plans are uh, in the works. John and I met a week ago, Friday, and they keep saying, a couple more weeks, we should have it all together. And you just, you know, the more hands in the pot, the harder it is to get your, so we. that's another message, you know, let God's hands be in that plan and, and seek him first and his kingdom and all these things will be added to you. So in light of next weekend, uh, some of you are going to be gone, but we are going to have a potluck. Okay, put that in your head. Potluck next Sunday. Try to tell everybody that isn't here because we've got a lot of people busy and gone places, but spread the word. We just you know, we value you guys so much. We could not got through this year without you guys. And uh, we needed one another. And uh, it, in some ways, it didn't seem like a big deal. There's much bigger deals out there. You know, you hear testimonies, people losing loved ones and, and those kind of things. And that's a much bigger deal. Uh, so thank you for being there with us going through it and being there in the future with this exciting new venture that God has for us. <laughs> well, if you want to go on that ride, <clears throat> it's all up to you. But uh, let's just stay open. Let's stay open to the new thing that God has personally for you and for believers and for whatever. And, and I don't like change a lot. You know, um, it takes a while to get, but kind of, kind of got used to change. Been married to John for a few years, so <clears throat> I can adapt and I can keep the old man out. And as I was sharing with uh, Jimmy and Sherry Bratcher, he was celebrating his seventieth birthday, her birthday, and their fifty anniversary, something. 
anniversary, maybe 45th or something like that anniversary. And um, no, I think it was 50. But they, I was just sharing with them this morning, and I just acknowledge and told them, thank you for keeping the old man out all these years. That spiritual old man. When we're born again, the old man's gone. The new man has come. We've got a new man living inside of us. Thank you for keeping that old man, that spiritual old man out. And don't let the physical old man in old woman. So John and I say that to each other a lot. And he calls me old woman. You know how that goes over. So uh, we're going to take up offering. And we just want to bless you guys and thank you. Remember to join us next. You know, it's like we were talking before. People acknowledge we're real loosey-goosey around here. So um, it'll be a loosey-goosey potluck. And so just bring your supply every Sunday. Bring your supply. That means your gift. Next week, just bring your, your dish to share with one another as we break, literally break bread with one another and share a meal and just rejoice. And we're looking back a little bit where he's brought us. Those are the things we rejoice in the things he's brought us through. And then as we look into the future, knowing that he's there every step of the way, he's got a plan, he's got a way, and we're so thankful for him. So uh, we'll take up the offering right now. Dear God, we just praise you and thank you. Thank you for being the God who's more than enough. Thank you for shaking up our Etch-A-Sketch or whatever happened there. We're just thankful that we are not lost. We are not without a path. You're making a path in the wilderness and in the desert. You'll bring an oasis. And we thank you for this oasis we're in right now, this building that you brought to us to be able to take shelter in, take, to be able to gather in. And we love you, God, and we just thank you that you love us so much that you have made a way and you've got wonderful design and purpose for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.